Most people still don't realize this, but AI can now create high click YouTube thumbnails for you automatically. And most creators are leaving views on the table because they aren't using it. And this matters more than almost anything else on YouTube because your thumbnail is the difference between someone scrolling past your video or actually clicking on it. Better thumbnails mean higher click through rate, which means more views and faster channel growth. And this isn't just theory, Within a month of using pixels in my workflow, my views across multiple channels have increased dramatically. So in this video, I will break everything down step by step. First, I will show you exactly how pixels works. Then I will explain throughout how it helps creators save time. And finally, I will give you my honest take on whether Pixels is actually worth using for your YouTube channel. I will leave a link to Pixels in the description box down below. Once you've signed up, you'll be taken to the main page. Before we start, make sure your model is set to the latest one for the best results. You can also choose your format, so either long form or short form. There's also a button called tutorial. I'm going to go through each feature step by step, but if you're ever stuck, you can always check these out as well. Moving on, we can now look at all the features. You can prompt for a thumbnail, recreate a thumbnail, edit a thumbnail, generate titles, and analyze already existing thumbnails. So I'm actually going to go through my workflow on how I use pixels to create thumbnails that actually get clicks. Before we create anything, we need to understand what already works. That's where the analyze feature comes in. You can drop in any thumbnail or even paste a YouTube video link, add a title, and then click analyze. Then it will start to analyze my thumbnail. And after that, it will give my thumbnail a virality score out of 100. This is an extremely useful feature and it's something I've only ever seen on pixels and not in any other tool. You can click this score and it will show five metrics to why it's given you that score, which are virality, clarity, idea, curiosity, and emotion. You can also click on each metric to get a deeper understanding of each rating. However, looking at this thumbnail, it's obvious it's nothing special and it definitely needs some work, which is where the one click fix feature comes in. We can click on this button to completely fix our current thumbnail. And now it's generated this thumbnail here, which looks way better than the previous version. The score is now 87 and nearly all of the metrics are now in the green, which means this thumbnail is considered optimized. So not only did it analyze my original thumbnail and clearly explain what needed improving, it actually fixed the thumbnail entirely, generating a much better version with a single click. We can also pair this with the title generation feature to optimize our brand new thumbnail. So I'll type, create a title for a video about a man stranded on an island with no supplies for three days, and then click generate. It will then generate three different title ideas to use with my thumbnail. I can even take this a step further. I can click on the three dots next to the titles and choose to either reword, reverb, shorten, lengthen, or even emphasize the title. So I'll choose reverb and it's given me an alternative for my current title, which gives me plenty of options to choose between. You can also click the brainstorm feature where you can make your title more dramatic, extreme, clickbaity, mysterious, and the list goes on and on. This lets me generate multiple title variations that I wouldn't normally think of myself. I can then use those variations with YouTube's title testing to find the best performing title, all directly from pixels. Now comes the part where everything comes together. This is where we actually start creating thumbnails using the prompt to thumbnail feature, followed by the recreate feature. Let's start with prompt to thumbnail. This feature can be very powerful if you use properly. What I mean by that is if you give it a vague prompt, like a man in a jungle running from a tiger, you're going to get a low score thumbnail that most likely won't perform well. Instead, what I use to get an almost near perfect thumbnail score is the SEC method, which stands for subject, emotion, and context. If you incorporate these key elements to your prompt, you'll get near perfect results. Here's an example, a close up shot of a man running through a dense jungle surrounded by wild animals holding a spear as a tiger chases him down a dirt path. He looks back in visible fear with a vibrant, highly detailed background and a dynamic YouTube thumbnail style. This clearly states the subject, which is a close-up shot of a man running through the jungle with the tiger chasing him. The emotion, he has visible fear, which creates urgency and danger, and the context, which are the key features like the jungle, animals, details, and overall scenario. Before generating, I can also choose a specific character to feature in my thumbnail. Let's use Cristiano Ronaldo as an example. To create a character, go to Personas, click Create, and give your character a name. You'll then upload 10 images of that persona, 
which can be yourself or anyone you want to use in your thumbnails. Once the persona is generated, you can simply select it and include it in your thumbnail generations. Now I can click generate and instantly it produces this high quality thumbnail of Ronaldo running from a tiger in the jungle. It scored an 87 virality rating which is extremely high, and nearly all of the performance metrics are already in the green on the very first generation. I can even take this a step further. If I'm not happy with the result, I can regenerate the thumbnail or use the edit feature to refine it. For example, I can click the edit feature and type in add big white text saying survival behind the man and the tiger at the top of the screen. Then click generate again. Now the thumbnail stands out even more. The score increases to 89, and all the performance metrics are fully in the green. I can also compare both generations between each other using the compare feature, which gives me a slider to see the before and after of my current thumbnail, which is a super helpful feature to properly compare both generations. So with a simple but detailed prompt using my SEC method, I was able to generate a high virality thumbnail within just two generations, saving both time and valuable credits that I can use elsewhere instead of wasting them. Moving on to one of my favorite features, the recreate feature. This allows you to recreate virtually any thumbnail on YouTube with a single click. This feature is extremely simple yet very powerful all you need to do is paste a link to the YouTube video whose thumbnail you want to recreate or upload the original image file. I'll use this eye-catching thumbnail here as an example. From there, you can add a persona, which can be anyone you want. I'll choose Ronaldo again. You can also describe any changes you'd like to make but I'll leave this blank for now since I can always come back to this feature later if needed. Now I can click on generate. And as you can see, the thumbnail has been completely recreated with Ronaldo as the main character, and it looks incredibly realistic. To get a thumbnail like this made manually would usually cost hundreds if not thousands of dollars, just to reach a similar level of quality. With pixels, all you need to do is drop a link in or upload a file, add yourself or any character you want, and you can generate a thumbnail like this for under a dollar with almost no effort. That's the real power of the recreate feature. I've also made a few more examples here using another character to show just how easy and realistic these generations can be. So now that we've gone through all the features, you can really see how powerful this tool is, especially when it's used properly. On its own, it saved me hours of time creating thumbnails, and completely remove the need to spend hundreds of dollars on overpriced designs. Just by adding this into my workflow, I've already seen massive improvements in views and click-through rate on multiple channels. And you can get the same results too. For just $40 per month, you can get up to 150 thumbnails per month, and you can even step it up to 450 thumbnails for just $80 per month, which is more than reasonable considering how much value you get out of pixels. I'd highly recommend trying it out. I'll also have a link in the description that will give you a free trial so you can test out pixels for yourself. So if you want to level up your YouTube game and start creating the same style of thumbnails you've seen in this video, go ahead and sign up for pixels today. I'll see you in the next one.